Igbo Area TV on on the Igbo. Hello, I'm Azuka Uzo OJ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, click on the bell icon to get our updates the moment they drop. Today, we're gonna be talking about the Think Home philosophy. You know, this channel has always promoted people who are thinking home because the best there's nothing like home yeah the best thing that can happen to any industrialist is to have his companies cited in his own and our focus is alibu southeast and south south think home philosophy we will be showing you Pictures of Tony Mann's industrial complex owned by an Igbo industrialist. Chief Enukeme is Igbo to the core and has passion for bettering the lives of his fellow Igbos. That is Ndibo. His Tony Mann's group has directly offered job opportunities to over 10,000 people and in tens of thousands to those indirectly benefiting. Of remarkable importance is that he believes in investing at home. He is at home with his people, and that is why Igbo Area TV identifies with this man. Incorporated in 1982, Tony Mass Nigeria Limited has proven itself a leader in the marketing and the distribution of refined petroleum products throughout the country. It is also involved in the manufacturing and marketing of high quality lubricants. Tony Mann's business group also includes an aluminium roofing sheets and nails production plant, Tony Mass Aluminium, Tony Mass Drinking Water, and haulage of and shipping line, and prestigious White Castle Hotels. Wow all in a label and that is why we are promoting Tony Mas. we are always talking about think home so anyone who business is think home we promote it on this channel because when you think home you provide job for people at home Tony Max Nigeria Limited has undertaken extensive research in different areas which have paid off through the creation of dynamic products lines in Nigeria. Its products are now household names bearing in mind the consistent pursuit of high quality standards which have continually applied to in all product lines and brands in order to offer the best quality to their customers. Within its vast operation and numerous branches, Tony Mass strives to discover new ways to provide quality products at affordable prices for the continuous benefit of their customers. Tony Mass Nigeria Limited is headquartered in Aba Abia State in the southeastern region of Nigeria. In this complex, over a hundred staff of multi-ethnic origins oversees the operations of the various business lines and their staff located in a in numerous branches all over the country. Branch Network Over the years, the Tony Mas Group has spread its tentacles to every part of the country. It also has business partners all over the world, from Europe through the Middle East to the Far East. Corporate Responsibilities and Community Relations Tony Mass Nigeria Limited knows the importance of conducting business in a responsible manner. The company demonstrates this responsibility through financial support for projects that benefit her host communities. Tony Mass has constructed and renovated several roads in all the host communities of her companies. Tony Mass is headquartered in Abia State but is owned by an Anambra man. Tony Enukem. So this man's business is headquartered in Alibo. Like we used to say, let Alibo be your base. From Alibo, you can distribute to the other parts of the country. 
Yes, let your factories, let your companies be in our label. Just like Ibeto has been doing, Ibeto manufactures car batteries and various things. But distributes to other parts of the country. That is Akulue Uno. We would like to round up by talking about another Igbo businessman, Ifanyo Oba. There's a lot to learn from his success. Check out beautiful pictures of Ifanyo Oba Stadium in Anambra. FC Ifanyuba was founded following the acquisition of Gabros International Football Club by Senator Patrick Ifanyuba. The club was originally known as EIE Football Club of Benin City before its acquisition by Chief Gabriel Chukuma and renamed Gabros International Football Club. FC Ifanyuba has its headquarters at 21 Nobi Road, Newi, Anambra State. On 6th November 2016, the club defeated Nasarawa United Football Club on penalties to clinch a historic Federal Cup at Teslim Balogun Stadium, Lagos. Since the split of Anambra State in 1991, no football club from the state had ever won the trophy. Wow. So that's a nice fit by FC Ifanyoba. FC Football Club Ifanyoba is one of the few privately run football clubs in the country. The club has gained massive success as a newly formed club, garnering droves of fans all around the southern, the southeastern part of Nigeria and around the country at large. The media officer of the club is engineer Ike Namukedi, while the stadium announcer is George Emmanuel Ike Okoli. FC Ifanyuba won the Federation Cup in 2016, just like we said. Thanks for watching Igbo Area TV. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also click the bell icon. Like our Facebook page. Join our Facebook group. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Bye for now.